Well, let's move on to OptiPath. OptiPath is a knowledge-based optimization based on chip load and volume removal or both. It doesn't have a clue, no knowledge of your material type or cutting forces. And you can manipulate or this with different cutting limits. OptiPath is a, is a module inside of VeraCut. It's required to run the OptiPath. The OptiPath allows the programmer to customize your the tool path records, how, how it's going to actually optimize based on cutting conditions. What is the volume removal? What is the chip load? We can set limits. Tell me when I've exceeded a particular feed rate limit or a chip load limit. I've got uh, lots of control with OptiPath. Creates a new optimized program, just like AirCuts did. Puts a .opti extension on it, same as AirCuts. And the header information is also there for reference to go back and know that you've processed it and when it happened. Original program still left intact. So how does, how does OptiPath work? Well, we use the information inside our tool manager. So as you can see in this image here, the tool on the left, I've zoomed in and shown that I've got um, tool 46 has an OptiPath record. And to the right of that is an OptiPath menu. You can see there's different tabs there for feeds and speeds and, and settings and limits and different things like that. Most of these do not need to be manipulated. There's extra control. So there's just a few menus in there and a few switches that you can set up to easily get moving and optimizing your programs. So in this menu, you'll also see that it's got a material and a machine. Tie this into building a library based on a particular machine. Although it calls a, a material there, it really does not know. This is strictly for bookkeeping purposes. I know that this tool cutting this type of material on this machine, and these are the settings that I've set for it. It really doesn't have ties back to what kind of material it is. So you run your NC, original NC program. This is just a little flow chart here. Running your original NC program, get all the bugs worked out. You can't optimize if your program is not, has not been verified. So that's where VeraCut comes in, verify your, your program, get everything taken care of as if you are now ready to go to the machine, then optimization comes in. And we can output a G code or a centerline data file. So this is a good, this is a good image of, of really showing a very typical scenario inside an NC program. If you look at the image on the left, you can see that the tool there is coming in and its worst case condition is where the programmer needs to set his feed rate. So he's going to set for 45 inches a minute in this instance. But you can see the part's been roughed, it's stair-stepped. There's lighter areas and heavier. And we're, we're in the heavy area at 45 and lighter areas after that. So in these other areas, we're able to speed up based on optimization and the OptiPath settings. So we know that we can speed up when it's a light cut and we can slow down when it's a heavy cut and speed back up as it goes out. And this is a perfect example of what optimization can do for you. You get faster and better NC programs. You know, along with faster and better comes a better surface finish, less time in the bench area, your tools last longer. We maintain a constant chip load in doing this. So that's our ultimate goal, trying to maintain a constant chip load. It doesn't beat your machine up. So to assist in setting up these menus, we've got a few optimizing aids. We have a status window here that shows you different information, your feeds and speeds and chip thickness and that kind of information. You can see what's going on during your program. This is enter, you're cutting your part. We also have some graphs that show you at the top, you got a bar chart showing you each color is uh, correlated to each cutting tool and the time. And you can see in, uh, in the first cut, in green, they're the same. There was no optimization. That's a drill. We don't optimize drills in OptiPath. But the second cut, the purple and the blue cuts, show that the lower line is shorter, showing me that I have optimization. And then I have a, a graph down below that allows me to toggle and utilize different functions to see what's going on during the cutting process. So I've got volume removal rate. I've got chip load. I've got, I've got a lot of things there that help me determine what's going on in my program and, and when I might need to optimize it, when I have a heavy cut condition that I might need to slow down. That graph is interactive, or I can run the mouse over the areas in there, and when I stop it, it'll display me a window showing me all of the cutting conditions that apply 
at that specific time, which is really handy. If I see a spike in my graph here, I can run the mouse over that and find out exactly what line of code is that is happening in. Easy to go back, find out where that's at, find out what's going on, and make some modifications. So inside OptiPath, we have different modes for processing optimization with OptiPath. We have, you can turn OptiPath on if you've already built a library and you've got tools that already have OptiPath fields associated with them with information, you can just turn it on. So you don't have to go through this each and every time. We also have a learn from an NC program mode, which allows me to cut apart. OptiPath grabs the information based on volume removal and chip load, saves that information in the tool manager along with each tool to be used later and can be manipulated to fine tune. We also have an interactive option in here, which actually allows me to cut the part and watch OptiPath at the same time. So I can see exactly where the tool's entering or what it's doing during the cut and make manipulations into my OptiPath record to fine tune once again. We also have a prompt while cutting. It'll open up the OptiPath window each and every time a new tool is uh, introduced. So the learn from your NC program mode, if you have no knowledge of, of your NC program and exactly how to, to optimize it. Where do I start from? The NC, the learn from NC program mode is a great way to get, to get started. So it automatically goes through, like I said, it runs the part in VeraCut, captures the data, fills in the fields, and then asks you if you want to use those uh, new values to process and optimize your part. You can turn it off or on at any time. The learn mode tab allows me to to, uh, once I choose Learn Mode, I've got Learn Mode Options tab, which allows me to put in some of the default information without going back into the tool manager for each tool. So I can set up information for minimum cut feed rate or cleanup feed rate, which is for spring cut. So some basic information at this point right up front. So what if I don't have information? Where can I get that? Well, we, we recommend you know Learn Mode as one option to getting information. We've also got company database. A lot of, a lot of companies have information that uh, is already set in stone. You know, these are, these are the tools we use and, and these are the information that I want to use with them. There's your learn mode options. There's your company database and the machining clouds or a tool catalog. Um, there's a lot of information on the internet these days and, and there's more and more coming. We're working with these vendors to, to try to capture and bring this data in automatically. Just they're not ready for that yet. You can see this information here gives me a medium of where I might want to start with chip load and volume removal, that kind of information, and I can, I can enter that. That would be possibly one of your prompt while cutting. It brings up a tool, gives me the OptiPath window. I can take this information and just key it in directly me a good start. Interactive mode, like I say, uses the review portion of VeraCut along with OptiPath and shows you both of those so you can see exactly where the cut is happening when you're running interactive. With interactive mode, it's, it's, a, it's a process. You're going to kind of loop through and, and go through this process in your program as you're cutting, modifying, making changes to the chip load and volume removal, that type of information and then watching it cut and see what the actual feed rate changes were. So it's interactive to actually see, I made some changes and, I'm getting, and I get to see them right now to see exactly what the results are. The interactive panel, what we're seeing here, as I make changes to my program, these values here for feed rate and chip load are going to change and, and I'll be able to see what the exact results are real time. When you start interactive mode, it cuts your part and comes back, asks you, you know, do you want to start interactive mode? Yes. And then at that time, you can see here it is. I'm cutting my part. You can see on the left side, I've got some line uh, data showing me where my tool path is actually at in the part. And I can scroll on the, in the NC program portion of that with my scroll mouse and go line by line watching the yellow area fields in the OptiPath window are actually updating as each cut is going through there. So 
we call this user-based knowledge product. So if I notice that it's taking a, you know, 15,000th chip load, and I know that that's probably more than that tool, I can go back and change that right now, back out, come right back in, right inside this menu, and see what the difference has affected my feed rates or my volume removal. And this works with hard materials, soft materials. It, it doesn't matter. It's user-based knowledge, being able to see and understand what you're looking at and getting the values that you look best of both worlds. I can see the part cut and make modifications and see what the changes are. Let's demo for learn mode. All right, I'm going to go back into optimize, optimize control, and this time I'm going to choose my OptiPath mode for learn from an NC program. Now keep in mind, you need to start with a good program to begin with. Um, OptiPath is not a it allows us to take a program and learn from it. So if you have a program that doesn't run well at the shop, the information I'm going to learn from is uh, not going to be very valuable. You take a good NC program, choose my learn mode. I've got learn mode options here. I can tell it to create this new file, which is the new nc.tls um, file, which is our tools. I choose that, I'll hit apply here. As to that, I can see that my optimization light here in yellow is turned on down at the bottom along with these other lights. Press cycle start to cut. It says it created my tool library and it wants to know if do I want to automatically reset and then optimize my NC program with this new information that I've gathered. And yes, I do. So now it cuts my part based on this OptiPath information. You can see I've got my savings calculator that came up. If I go into the tool manager, it wants to then tell, ask me if I want to then run this new program. Typically, no, I want to review it first. So the information that comes across over here, you can see I've got information in here in OptiPath record that shows me the feeds uh, or the chip thickness and volume removal and some information that was gathered actually while cutting this part. But let's also take a look. That's learn mode. Like I say, it gathers your information, inputs the fields for you, and gives you a real good base starting point. I'm going to reset this. OptiPath is now turned off. I'm going to come back in. This time I'm going to choose the interactive option. This to me is the power of OptiPath. So it cuts the part and says, do you want to open an interactive OptiPath? Do. What this has given me now is the first pass is a drill, so it shows that it wasn't optimized because drills aren't optimizable here. But if I select the tool path for the second tool, it automatically brings open the OptiPath window, puts my part in the current state at which the second tool was loaded. So you can see right now there's no cuts there. I'm going to toggle these down. This is where uh, the 18,000th chip load and the 34,000, 34, cubic units volume removal was gathered when it learned from this. So if I use my scroll mouse over here, I can actually come in and watch the part being cut. And if you notice, the menus in yellow on the right are changing as this is cutting. So I'm getting a, a feed rate, and I can see what my values are, my axial and radial depth are. If I decide, based on my user base knowledge, that you know, this might be a little too too aggressive for this particular machine or this material or these tools, I could then untoggle these and change this down to something more or less. In this case, I'm going to set it to a 10,000th chip load and then come back in. And at this point, at this point, it shows me that my feed rates are now slower when it came in at a full channel cut. I'm at 25 inches a minute. I believe it was 40 prior to that. 
But as it goes and takes a partial cut, it speeds up to 40 inches a minute and then goes into a slower cut as it takes a heavier cut and so on and so forth. But to me, this is where the power of OptiPath is to be able to watch interactively, make modifications, see my part cut, and see the actual results. After you switch to each tool, it'll ask you if you want to save those information that you just modified in there, and you can move on to the next tool. I've got settings. I've got for minimum feed rate changes and cleanup, I've got some information in here. I can add more cuts to an existing cut. Veracut or OptiPath does not change any width or, dip, width, width or depth of cut. It only changes the feeds and speeds based on breaking up a cut. So point A to point B is one cut now, but it may be several cuts with different feed rates based on the cutting conditions when it's all done. That's how we keep the chip load uh, constant. Like I say, better tool life, better surface finish, doesn't beat up your machine. Okay, so a little bit more about OptiPath modes. Those are the two that I like to, to demonstrate because they're the most powerful, which is learn mode and, and interactive. I always start with one working into the other one. Prompt while cutting, as I mentioned, will load a tool and then open up an OptiPath window for you. You can add or change uh, the information inside there. If you've got uh, information from a tool vendor, you could just input that information in and move on to tool by tool by tool as you go from there. Veracut automatically stores this information in your tool library. Uh, uh, with the prompt while cutting, just as Learn Mode did, it updates that file for you. It can be used again and again. If you had different material on a different machine, you add some information here for, for those two categories and save more information. 